Yeah, it's Moon here. As you can tell, I'm not alone. This is Cheddar, my new little kitten friend. My parents haven't decided whether we're going to keep him or not, but I figured I'd bring him on. You haven't seen my other cat in video because, for one thing, I'm not really able to pick him up that well. And for another, he's not the most, I want to put it, willing to cooperate in things like this. Today I figured, why not talk about <clears throat> how one would get in with an animal. Animals are wonderful beings that we should treat with respect. For instance, this cute little kitten, standing in front of the camera. <laughs> He's young and small, and deserves to be treated as an equal. My sister found him and some other kittens on the side of the road. He came to her, and she brought him home, just a couple days ago. He's adapting to being in the house. And he's a purring machine. He purrs like crazy. He's very sweet and gentle and very handleable. That's not a word, but you can handle him pretty well. He loves to cuddle. He meows a lot. He is a sweetheart. And I want to keep him. Badly. A cheddar, as you heard me say, his name is Cheddar. Because he has orange fur. I mean, I like that orange on camera. Yeah, look at the camera, Cheddar. <laughs> he is great. All animals have strengths and weaknesses. Cats are very great animals. They're not solitary like one would think. They hunt alone, but they live in groups. And he keeps trying to get my leg, but <laughs> trying to keep him up here for the duration of the video. If you treat a cat well, they will love you. Don't force your attention onto them. If they want to be left alone, leave them alone. They'll come to you or call for you when they want attention. As opposed to dogs who thrive off attention. They love being around you all the time. And some cats come in like that too. It just depends on the individual. <laughs> this little guy loves being with me. He's very sweet, as I said. All animals are individuals, just like people, and deserve to be treated well. <laughs> Even though we don't properly chosen him to be ours so we are caring for him and as I said I want to keep him no enough about me and this adorable kitten dogs are great pets too if we treat them well just like with cats and other animals you just gotta be careful and tell her where you think you're going get back here you have to keep an eye on him. My father's asleep, my sister's at school, and mom's at work. So it's up to me to keep an eye on this little guy. And I'm happy to do so. He's a bit of an angel. Just like many other species. Cats, dogs, birds. They can, they can all be great pets if they're raised correctly. And you must respect the other animals. Animals are not lesser beings. They are other living things that need to be treated with respect. And I think we should all understand that. Animals are not our lesser beings. They are our friends. <laughs> and this little guy is very curious about everything around him, but I need to make sure I don't lose him. But yes. I hope you guys understand. Animals are our friends and our equals, not our lesser beings. And if we treat them with respect, most species, well not illegal species, but most species that tend to be pets can be great pets. 
mammals, amphibians, reptiles, birds, can all make amazing pets. And this one conversation is about over because I have basically nothing else to say. Me and Cedar are just hanging out and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.